Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kieran, I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. As always, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed so you can join the team. I don't know if you can hear me over these waves, but the UK government recently changed the rules about traveling to Portugal. So it was on a green list, which meant that when you get home, you'd have to isolate. But since I've been here, it's changed onto the amber list. Portugal, saviour of summer for thousands, now off the green list. New quarantine restrictions have come into force. With the government advising against holidays there and everyone arriving back after Tuesday at 4 a.m., now having to self-isolate for 10 days. And I was meant to go home on Friday. If I go home after Tuesday, then you have to isolate. You've got to take some extra tests. And that's 10 days that I obviously can't take off because I've got work in the hospital. I'm gonna to have to try and work this one out, try and book another flight home, and obviously a COVID test before I fly home too. So it's gonna be a bit of a mad one. It's, it's cut this holiday massively short as well, which obviously isn't ideal, but they are trying to keep the cases low in the UK. So I understand why they've done it, but it's come at a terrible time for me. I think one of the things you don't realise when you are somewhere hot is how hot it gets in the mask. Because in England, when you wear them, it actually keeps you quite nice and warm. But here, when it, the sun is so hot on you and you're breathing in your own heat, it actually gets really warm. Obviously, it's not ideal having to go home early, but the important thing is that I got a little bit of a break and just, you know, make the most of the time I've got left. As a, as a side note, I've just come back from surfing and I've not put any product in my hair at all, but it just sticks up like this because of the salt water. So the salt water is basically hair product for me. Apparently if you come back on Monday, COVID's like, nah, you're good. But if you come back on Tuesday, COVID's like, I'm going to get you. I have managed to book a flight on Monday evening, which means two things. First of all, my holiday has been cut short by five days, which is a bit of a shame. And second of all, that it was absolutely extortionate because obviously everyone is trying to get home at the moment and I've jumped on that bandwagon too. The last BA flight out of Faro Airport tonight before Portugal loses its safe green status. Though for many others, there was both significant extra cost and inconvenience. So to avoid paying for these extra tests, I've had to pay 10 times more than I would for this flight just to get home. I hope hospital is happy. In other news, this is the view from our balcony. It's really nice being outside, being able to wear a t-shirt. It's like half past seven in the evening, just got ready for dinner. It is my last day here. So making the most of it. This morning got up, went for a run on the beach again, went for a swim in the sea. And then this afternoon we are going parasailing which I've not done in a really long time but we saw people doing it on the beach so really fancied doing it. I also need to go and do my Covid test so my flight is this evening at nine o'clock which means I've got the whole day here but also it needs means I need to do my Covid test before I go home so I'm about to go and do lateral flow test. One of the craziest things about this hotel was this lift so there's the hotel resort and all the restaurants and things up there and then there's this glass elevator that takes you down here to this walkway which leads to the beach such a, such a lazy but amazing thing to have when i finished the test the guy actually said to me enjoy your last few hours and i said to him i'm i'm literally going home i'm not going to die
What's up guys? It's five o'clock and my flight is at nine. So I thought we'd get a couple of hours of surfing in before we went and we just got home from parasailing too. So, I mean, I can just about stand up on the surfboard without a GoPro, so I can't really take the GoPro with me. I have no idea how this is gonna go taking the GoPro with me. I don't even know how I'm gonna paddle. I don't know how I'm gonna stand up. It's not possible to paddle with one hand. Finished surfing, time to go hand the boards back, hand the wetsuits back, and then head into the airport and flight home. It took way too long surfing and then got some food afterwards, so now I'm cutting it really fine for the flight. We're leaving at 8.55 and it's eight o'clock now. But I've checked in and everything online, so just need to rush to the gate. Everyone is literally trying to flee. The queue for the check-in desk is absolutely massive. Going right down the end of the airport. Good thing that I have no luggage with me. I've just got this little bag, otherwise there's no way I have time to wait in that queue. Basically, the whole of the United Kingdom Trying to get out right now. We've made it guys and we are waiting for the flight at the gate. Some mad scenes at the airport with people running to try and get their flight so they're not facing a quarantine. And now here we are on the floor waiting to go to Birmingham. Yeah. 